For many worms are nothing more than slimy, wriggly creatures, but some see the potential to help gardens flourish. Thanks to stringent order restrictions, companies like GrowPro have been inundated with orders from potential worm farmers. Since this dry season, more people have been coming here and asking a lot of questions about how these worms they are working. So we have been telling them on how they can use it and the importance of it. So a lot of people they are getting interested and now they are able to buy it. So it's like we are recycling the water. All the water used is captured and reused. The worms consume the vegetable and fruit peel, excreting nutrient-rich compost, which enhances germination and boosts crop yields. It's also self-sustaining. The worm farm works, it produces also itself. Maybe you can put maybe three or four. It multiplies itself. You can have more and more. Once you have put maybe ten, you can have within a week, you have got a lot of, a lot of it. So it works perfectly and nicely any time it works nice in the garden. Costs range from around $45 for a small farm to $130 for a larger one. A small price to pay to save your garden during these dry conditions. With level 3B order restrictions now just about imminent, the sustainability of worm farming has now become far more attractive to some. So I'm interested in it because it's a good idea because water wash plants, aloes, and to save water, and um, it'll be good for the, uh, for the conservation of the, of the environment. That's good. For me, it's good because it helps to regenerate the soil and I think um, saving water is a good idea and there's lots of different ways to like restrict evaporation and so on. While the impact of South Africa's drought has hit many odd, these wriggly creatures are a reminder that hope is not lost. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.